Yeah, next, United Arab Emirates. So another part of the world, different. We're, we're traveling all around the world today. So why go to the United Arab Emirates? Because it's a really interesting place. <laughs> and 90% um, of the population there is comprised of expatriates from all over the world. So I think that's really interesting. I would love to also teach there for like a year or so. It'd be really cool. Seems like a very inter or multicultural environment. And I think that's what attracts a lot of people there. And also, it has a lot of attractive benefits, like pay, paid airfares, the furnished apartments, health insurance, and a contract completion bonus, like a lot of the uh, Asian countries that I've mentioned. And also, actually, the Middle East has the highest EFL salaries anywhere. So you can make between 2,500 and 5,500 US dollars per month. And that is tax free. So that's a huge incentive for many people to go to this region to teach. Um, the requirements are typically a little bit strict. Um, so a bachelor's degree, um, also in any subject, but it's definitely preferred if it's in English or education, TESOL, etc. A TEFL certification of at least 100 hours, and they usually also want previous teaching experience. So this would be a great region or country to go to after you've already taught somewhere, and then sort of as a next step, um, if you're looking to go to a new exciting place and make a lot of money. Some COVID-19 info. So to enter the UAE, you must present a negative result of the PCR test, so the COVID test. If your test result is positive, you must stay in isolation for 14 days. But if your test is negative, you don't have to go into quarantine. So that's also really good. Yeah. <laughs> Tiana says it's too hot. <laughs> yeah, I think it's it can be quite hot, but there's also really nice beaches. So I think it's really nice. I missed South Korea. Yeah, you just missed it, but um, you can just rewatch it. It's, um, well, it's alphabetically, so just where you can figure it out in the timing. I recommend you watching it. <laughs> uh, all right, Taylee says non-natives can also apply or is it just for native speakers? Yeah, so being a native speaker is not a requirement in the United Arab Emirates. Um, they look for your qualifications, your degree certifications, and if you are a non-native English speaker, um, you know, they probably want a uh, English proficiency certificate, so like a Cambridge certificate or an IELTS or things like that. So that's what I would recommend to get. <laughs> okay. Thanks so much for watching. We are ITTT, the leading provider for TEFL and TESOL training courses. If you like this video, please subscribe by clicking the button down here and click on any of the videos here on the left for more interesting teaching tips for getting certified to teach English abroad and online.